you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Hi, welcome back. Recently, I stumbled upon a, a new tool called uh, Bird Eats Bug. So the name is very catchy and uh, it grabbed my attention and I started exploring it. It's a pretty uh, simple tool and uh, powerful for the QA and uh, for the project managers and for the development team. So it is basically a screen capturing tool where you'll be able to uh, record in the Chrome browser and you'll be able to uh, ship it to the uh, development team or the product managers or product owners for the effective uh, bug reporting. So it is similar to uh, Snagit or uh, you can say uh, Cloud App or the Windows uh, screen capturing tool and the built-in uh, screen capturing tool. But it is uh, more than that actually. It is built for the QA team and for the development team and the, for the product owners. So there are a lot of options you can see. Eventually, uh, we'll be seeing it in a moment. So you can try, it is free. Uh, the essential features are free uh, for the users. And there is a, a pricing section. If you go to uh, birdeatsbug.com, if you go to pricing, you can see all the features. Uh, it will cost you around $50 per month for up to 10 users. So to install, it's pretty simple, very straightforward. You need to uh, first sign up and uh, you can uh, log in and there is an extension you need to install just like any other extension if you install it you can see it in the uh, in your menu bar so here you can see uh, the bird eats bug icon here if you just click on it after you installed the uh, extension so there are two options one is you get the console which i can clear it and uh, there are uh, options under uh, recording the video so recording video, you can record all the entire screen or you can uh, record the, uh, the tab only. So let us record a simple uh, defect and let us uh, report on how it looks in Bird Eats Bug. So just go to uh, <coughs> demo.opencart.com and here there is a small defect. So if you just click on the uh, MacBook and if you just click on Add to Cart, and click on the shopping cart uh, link and here you, is, you can see uh, this product is not available. So assume that this is the defect you are going to report. So now let us uh, record it using the birdeatsbug.com, the extension. So just click on the extension icon and uh, just clear the console and hit the uh, record video button. So now you can see uh, the icon is uh, giving the information the uh, elapsed time it started recording already um, now let us add the uh, product to the cart on macbook and click on add to cart and click on shopping cart so if you see each click uh, there's a small animation and now we got the uh, defect and to stop the recording you can just click on the icon again so once you click on the stop it will automatically open this window so all the details will be stored locally so you need to uh, log in. You have to sign up first and then log in to upload it. And then you can uh, share it with your teammates. On the right side, you can see the video uh, captured. So whatever we steps we have followed, you can see the video format. And on the left side, you can see the console, which has the uh, steps and the network errors. So basically, this application will be able to capture only uh, the steps and net network errors. but uh, if the application has a lot of logs or warnings or errors, you can see the respective details in the tabs. On the extreme left, you can see there's a column. Uh, it's a dashboard, which is displaying the URL we recorded, the date and time timestamp, and the system info, the platform browser, uh, the engine, the screen size, uh, and the bird version, etc. At the bottom, there is a small information about the uh, bird eats bug. If you click on the play button, what will happen is you can see the marker is uh, moving towards the timestamp. Whenever you did something during the recording, uh, so it will automatically go to the respective marker and it will highlight it basically. So it starts with session started and the recording started and the uh, session recording end. But each uh, marker you can see there is a click here 
and also the respective uh, information. We just uh, toggle this, you, the network errors will go away. If you again the toggle, it, you can see the network errors and so on. And uh, once you uh, done with the recording and you can uh, edit the title, say uh, demo cart uh, defect. And uh, you can clear the, uh, the logs if you want. And if you want to upload, you can just click on upload. So once uh, the session or the data is uploaded, you will get a shareable link. This is the link you can share it with your product owner or teammates or with the development team. So they can view your defect effectively and they can keep it there for reference. And to see all the details, you can uh, uh, go to the uh, dashboard and then now you can delete it. So now your uh, dashboard is empty. Now you can start again. So for the free, free plan, you can use all the essential features, advanced uh, team plan, which, which will have the more features and uh, you can use up to 10 users. So Bird Reads Bug, it's uh, definitely a good tool and it's based on Chrome browser. So the drawback is uh, it's only the browser based extension. It's not the, the software installable. You can install it like uh, Snagit or uh, other tools. But definitely uh, if you are into uh, web application automation or uh, web application testing or beta tester, definitely you can check it out uh, birdeatsbug.com. So thanks for checking out. Have a great day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.